That was pretty calm feeding for her. Sometimes they snap two or three times before they even launch for it. They are insane. Here comes one. And, and I've had them oh. hit my tongs, throw the chicken across the ponds, and then like go for my face because I think they think I still have the chicken. But yeah, they're crazy. There's the other one. Yeah, I want the other one. I was like, I figured she would be up here somewhere. Look at this big guy right here, y'all. This is Alvaro. This is another Orinoco. So Alvaro here, he's actually Diablo's older brother. He's about 13 foot long. He's probably about three foot wide. And when we brought him in for winter time this year, uh, his sides were actually touching the door frame on both sides. Now watch those hands and toes in front of him. I'm about to lift him up a little bit to feed him. And I'm going to show y'all how high he can lift up, which is why we don't um, lean over these fences here. Watch out, bud, okay? So again, he's a big guy. All he has to do is stand up on those front feet there, and his jaws are at the fence line. That is uh, the biggest crocodile we have here at our park. Now, um, while you're in front of them, that's a good chance to look at a crocodile's face. You can see the eyes that slit behind their eyes. That's their ears. Their nostrils are on top of their heads. So all their sensory organs are on top. So they can then be very aware of what's going on.